guys, it's me Jordan Dunn and we are in London for London Fashion Week. Super crazy, super busy. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you, <laughs> I'm gonna show you my, my off-duty makeup look. So I'm always getting girls in my DMs asking me when am I gonna drop the skincare routine. And yeah, I'm gonna drop it right now with Vogue Beauty Secrets. I love using medical graded skincare products because I just feel like they there's a science to back it up, they're active ingredients and they're just gonna work. And if my dermatologist recommends them and she's using them, then I'm gonna follow suit. I use a foaming glycolic wash. And the reason why I like this because it is a high strength cleanser, but then gently exfoliates your skin. So what I'm gonna do, I need to wet my face first and then I just massage it in. Also, go to the neck. Everyone always forgets the neck. It's like they pay attention to their face and then their face is nice and firm and plump and looking young and then your neck is looking like some kind of turkey neck. And then I'm gonna rinse it off. My next step is this Clinicet. It's like a toner, but not really, but this is like an amazing product. So I just spritz this on and then pack, dry it in with another towel. Let that soak in. We're gonna use a serum, Exuvance Age Reverse, which is an, another amazing, <laughs> I say no, but I, I, people overuse the word amazing, but this is actually really good because this is good for my dark spots, evens out my skin tone. One pump is enough because I used to just like squirt a lot of stuff and then realize actually, why is all my products leak gone? And it's like, Joran, calm down. Just one pump is all you need. I have always looked after my skin. I always take my makeup off before I go to bed. Even if though it's a bit of a chore, your skin will always thank you for it. I'm gonna use my jade roller, cause after I put my serum, I just wanna like, you know, massage it all in, sculpt my face in that. Okay, so the most important step is sunscreen. I feel like there's no point in supplying serums and all of that stuff and then to only go out and damage your skin by not wearing sunscreen, to not be protected, be protective. I like to use black girl sunscreen um, because for me it's very moisturizing and also it doesn't leave that, that gray, shiny, tin man look. This doesn't do that. Uh, I mean, anyone can use it, but I love the fact that it's dedicated for black and brown girls. And um, yeah, just do a little one drop on my forehead, there, neck. The thing is, I feel like, like myself, I was told growing up that, oh, black people don't need sunscreen. We're highly melanated. And to some extent it's true, but our melanin only protects us only, only by a little bit. We are still at high risk at getting burnt. Black people do burn. Getting skin cancer, get, and also, I get dark spots, so when I, if I go in the sun, the dark spots get worse and they actually stay there longer. So I don't want that. I am using serums to get rid of them. Boom. See, no grayness, still look like Jordan with no shiny, like shiny Tin Man look. So we love that. Next, I'm gonna use another Exuvance moisturizer. It's a hydro firm. And I like this because it's super hydrating plumping and it just feels so nice. It's like, makes my skin feel super smooth. And it's super light as well, so you can still use it in the summer. It was not super heavy, so it's not gonna clog up any pores. Face is looking all right. And now it's time to put makeup on. Okay, but here's the thing guys, I have to be honest with you. Even though I get my makeup done like all the time, I'm so basic when it comes to doing my own makeup. Like, basic. But it's good to know the basics. I'm gonna be using NARS. NARS is my favorite brand because I just feel like it just, you know, I feel like I love the tones. I'm using, which one is this? It's the Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. And I love it because it's, it can go, it's light, but then it can build up. So I'm only gonna do one pump. I lied, I'm doing another pump. I've got my brush. 
Also, another really good thing, guys, is like clean your brushes. Like, don't be lazy. Like, clean your brushes. I legit always clean my brushes after I use them. Because, think about it, you clean your face, then you're using your brush that you haven't cleaned in like two weeks, two days. That's got bacteria and dirt, and then you're applying it on your face, and then it's like, what's the point of doing the whole skincare when you're putting dirty brushes? Like, fix up like and be smart okay so i am i am a bit more warmer around here and then i'm a bit i'm yellow here so i put my darker foundation around here it's all about blending guys oh and then go down to the neck do you know what it's so annoying when you see girls that their face is one color and their neck is a completely different color it's like who are your friends? How come they have not told you that you need to blend and you need to be seamless? I've only started to recently get really into makeup because I'll just like be backstage, zone out, put my music on and not pay attention and then I just got into it. I thought actually maybe it might be good to know what the hell people are doing to my face. Just keep on blending. And this what I'm saying, like you can with this foundation, you, it is buildable. So obviously you can see that I'm wearing a wig cap because this is how I would normally do my makeup and do my skincare. And then I put my wig on because then imagine I have my wig on and then it gets the products, gets in my wig. It's all a bit long. So yeah, that's what we're doing. All right, I'm like happy with that. So now the next step is concealer. I'm using NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Caramel. You wanna just like highlight, these are the highlights. You wanna bring a bit of light to. Do I need to put the corner? No, I don't need to do the corner. Bim, bim, bim. I'm gonna still use the same brush for just this bit. And then for my eyes, I like to use my fingers and a beauty blender. Blend, 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 blend. Dab, 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 dab. If you can, invest in a silk pillowcase. Not only it's good for your skin, it's good for your hair. And ladies, if you are like me and wear wigs and you're in a relationship and you don't want, it's a bit too soon to be putting on the, the do-rag or the, the scarf. If you sleep with a silk pillowcase, it's basically the same thing. And then, you know, your hair, it's good for your hair and your hair doesn't get all messed up. And then, yeah. So yeah, silk pillowcases is the one. I don't really like filling in my brows. I don't want like my brows to look like I've got my brows done. I really like Charlotte's contour one because it's super easy. See, before when I was learning how to contour, I was like, but where do you put it? And then I realized you do this whole, mm-hmm, it's just underneath her. Take it to the top. And now, next step is blusher. And again, Nars is not sponsoring this, guys, I promise you. But I just love NARS. I just think their products are really amazing. And I love NARS Orgasm. Ha! <laughs> because it's a great bra blusher. And it's got like a bit of like goldy tones. So I like that. And I don't really like using blush, but this is a nice blush. See, this is just like my day cash, don't really know, like kind of effortless, just a bit of something, something. I feel like I need a little bit more under eye. So now I'm gonna use MAC, look, you can retell really that I abuse this MAC. Look how, <laughs> look at that. But I'm now gonna just add, so this is just easy, nothing long. Cause I have a nine year old who is still very demanding. So it's like, but then when I say that, this is also my look if I'm going out. And then it's hardly nothing, but then I still take forever to get ready. Because I'm a girl and I do what girls do. Like I have a glass of whatever, and then I'm playing, playing, playing music. Then I'm acting like I'm on a music video and it's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. And then everyone's like, where are you? And then they see me like, but girl, you look the same. I was like, I know, it's just a whole production. What are you talking about? I normally have lashes extension, but my appointment is next week. So sorry, um, I'm using, a mascara, Maybelline Total Temptation. So normally I don't, this what I'm saying, I feel like if you have your lashes done, your brows are threaded or whatever, then you're pretty much good to go. You don't really need to do much. And we're gonna go in. <laughs> Excuse my nostril hairs, guys. I can't do, and also another thing I can't do, I can't actually apply lashes on. They always just look wrong. 
So that's why I actually just save myself the hassle and the drama of glue drying and then fanning it and then replying it and then it does it then one's like on my eyelid and not on my eyelash line and all of that i'm just haven't got time for it so i just get them done and um yeah oh lip balm oh <laughs> duh i can't have dry lips out here it's not about dry lips at all always gotta have this mm. when it comes to lipstick i actually like to just use tones that match my lip tone. Again, NARS, and I don't do lip liner. Yeah, a little gloss, glossy lip. Yeah, a little gloss, glossy lip. And there, I feel like, I feel like I'm looking all right. Okay, so I guess I'm gonna do a little powder under eye. So I'm using Huda Beauty. Boom, bang, not too much. Cause you know what's really annoying? When you put too much powder and then especially in pictures and the flash and then all you see is either white or you see yellow. Like that's not really a good look. And then we're just gonna sweep. So I use that for under my eye and then I will use for all over my face, I will use a MAC skin finish. So then I use the dark golden for here, in this area, because that's where I'm more lighter, and then I use the dark, put it out a bit. Oh my God, Chanel Man is amazing at her makeup, like she, and Joan actually, I will always see them, and then they will like sometimes take control, and like, you know, do their little bits, and they were big and bossy and do it in front of people. I would go to the toilets and do that stuff, but they're bosses, so I was always like, yeah. Chanel and Joan, they know what they're doing. But I feel like this is pretty all right. It's just a normal day-to-day -day situation. May look like, this is the natural look. That is my beauty secrets. I hope you guys learned something. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, yeah. Have a good day, guys.